Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. This was a requested video and the person wanted to know how to teleport a player by clicking on a part. So this is how it's going to look. I have a green part here in the background. When the player clicks on this part, they teleport to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start by inserting a part into the game. You can resize it and make it look however you want to. I'm just going to keep it basic for now. What I'm going to do though is rename this part over in the Explorer menu. So I'm going to right click on it, press rename, and for the part name it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to call it Teleport. After that I'm going to add a click detector to the part. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and then click on click detector. After that we're going to be adding a script. So we'll click on the plus sign and then add script. The first thing I'm going to do is create a variable for the part. So I'll say local part is equal to script dot parent. After that I'm going to make a variable for the click detector. So I'll say local click and that's going to be equal to part dot click detector. After that we're going to make a function to run whenever the part gets clicked on. So we'll say local function. For the name of the function I'm just going to call it go. Inside the parentheses I'm going to pass the parameter player. And this parameter comes from the click event. So whoever clicks on this object their player's name will get stored in player. So inside this function what I want to do is say player dot character dot humanoid root part and then we're going to be changing their c-frame to teleport the player so we'll say dot c-frame and we're going to set this equal to a new c-frame so we'll say c-frame dot new and then inside the parentheses we want to teleport to the position of the part so we'll say part dot position and then we want to teleport the player just a little bit above the part so they don't get stuck inside of it so we'll say plus and then vector 3 dot new inside the parentheses we're going to put 0 for the x 3 for the y so they'll spawn up a little bit and then 0 for the z part that's actually all we have to do for the function so the last thing we want to do is just connect this with the mouse click event so we'll say click dot mouse click colon connect and then we're going to connect this with our function all right, and that's all there is for the script, so let's go ahead and test it out. All right, so once I'm in the game, if I have the player click on this part here, then he teleports right to it. So one thing you might want to adjust is the click range, which is how close the player has to be to the part to be able to click on it. And you can do that pretty easily. So if you go under the part and look at the click detector, under the properties, you have a max activation distance. And if you set this to a higher number, like let's say 100, then what this does, it allows the player to be farther away from the part and still be able to click on it. So let's go ahead and try it out at 100. So now my player can be about this far away and still click on the part to go to it. And if you want it to be a shorter distance, then you just want to make that number smaller. So for the click detector, instead of 100, you can try something like maybe 10. And now the player has to be about this close to be able to teleport. So this might not be very useful to set it to a really small number, but I just wanted to show you that you have an option as far as like how far you can set this up. You can also move this part wherever you want to and it'll still work the same. So in this case I moved it up in the air and my player can still click on it and he teleports on top of it. Alright so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. This was a pretty short video but if you have any questions or suggestions for other videos go ahead and leave those in the comments. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.